In this video, we are going to look at how to determine the equation of a cubic graph if they give you information. You will find this in the Namibia AS Level Mathematics textbook on page 34 and the textbook is y equals mx plus c to 6 c's. Determine the equation of a cubic graph. If you are given three x-intercepts of a cubic graph and another point to find the equation of the graph, use the formula. So it's almost like quadratic. You just have an extra x-intercept now. So let's just look at this. Can make it bigger. Find the equation of the cubic graph which cuts the x-axis at 3, 1 and negative 2 and pass through the point. So use this formula. Then substitute the 3, the 1, the negative 2 in brackets and there's the a. And then substitute the other point to get a. And then you can leave it like that or you can multiply out. It's not necessary. Okay. Very easy. It's just like the one method of quadratic um, equations. I want you to stop the video and I think you can just do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. Find the equation of the cubic function whose graph cuts the x-axis at negative 2, 0 and 3 and pass through this point. So start with the equation y is equal to a x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 okay so y is equal to a then it's x minus negative 2 x minus 0 x minus 3 okay now, I can simplify it further, think so, make it plus 2, make this just x, and this make x minus 3. And then, I can substitute, oh, let's just go, the point negative 1, negative 4. So basically, and don't forget that this is x and this is y. I just might, just to make sure I don't make unnecessary mistakes. Okay, so I put negative 4 equals a and x is negative 1 plus 2, negative 1, negative 1 minus 3. So negative 4 equals a 1 minus 1, minus 4. So negative 4 equals a. Okay, so a negative, so it's going to be 4. So it's just going to be 4a. I think I'm going to rather write it as 4a because that's going to be 4a. I divide 4, so therefore a is equal to negative 1. So therefore y is equal to negative 1. Some, I, I'm putting it in there. No, let me just... I'm putting it in there, in the place of a. Okay, so y equals... And then it's x plus... Oh, I just want to show you. If there's an x on its own, it's, it's always good to first write that x. And then x plus 2, x minus 3. Okay, and you can leave it like that. Or you can multiply it out, but this will also be correct. Okay, I'm just going to multiply it out to see that it's cubic, but it's not necessary. Yeah, let's just see. So y equals, uh, you can first leave this, and then you can multiply that. So x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. So y is equal... minus x minus 6. So it's minus x to the power of 3 plus x squared plus 6x. Let's just see. 
minus x3 plus x squared plus 6x. And that will be the final answer. Not very difficult. We will look at when it's just touching a point, like in that one, in the next video.